KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G. Ukudu High School is now 1-1 one one in the ESA League. The Bulldogs defeated Southern High 3-2 at the JFK Field. Brian Ignacio with Ukudu's first goal. The Bulldogs ended the first half tied at 2. Isaiah Charfris chases down the long pass, taking it off one bounce. Charfris with the footwork to get by two defenders. Isaiah takes the contact and keeps dribbling towards the goal. Light finish with the right foot. Southern's Cody Pangalinen and Trevin Rioja scored for the Dolphins. Zaven Piolo scored the last goal in the second half for Ukudu. The Bulldogs hit the field Wednesday to face GW at home. Kickoff set for 6.30. JFK sits in first in the standings. Ukudu second. Southern High is in third place. Purebred BJJ Guam black belt and professional female fighter Brogan Walker, who sports a 7-2 record, has been selected to participate in the Ultimate Fighter 30 Pena vs. Nunes, a show that will feature a cast of 16 athletes in the men's heavyweight and women's flyweight divisions for a chance to pursue their UFC dreams. The Ultimate Fighter 30 is set to air May 3rd on ESPN Plus and UFC Fight Pass. Brogan Walker's mixed martial arts career began in October of 2014, where she fought in the locally coordinated Pacific Extreme Combat events. Her record was 4-0 in the PXC. And in July of 2018, she went on to fight in Invicta FC, an international all-women's fighting organization. She last competed in Invicta FC 44, where she won by submission via rear naked choke in the first round. Congratulations to Brogan. We look forward to seeing you on the show. The General Fitness Competition hosted its first Lift Heavy and Lift Fast unofficial weightlifting meet, partner style, at the Guanico Hotel. 24 teams competed in 12 heats, going head to head in the performance division and fitness division. We're trying to combine the two worlds of CrossFit and traditional weightlifting. We have our own spin to it where we're going to use partial CrossFit tests, two of which are called Grace, which is 30 clean and jerks for a time, and then Snatches, which is 30 snatches for a time. Our final heat is going to be a max weightlifting. This is going to be more of the traditional Olympic weightlifting where it's going to be focused on trying to hit the heaviest weights and combined weight from male and female participants will be their scores for, for, to, uh, for that event. The Pickleball Guam Association will be hosting their inaugural membership drive and random draw tournament at the Tumwinning Mayor's Tennis Courts. The event is scheduled for Saturday, February 12th and Sunday, February 13th. Our mission statement is to really further this sport through educational and athletic endeavors for the community of Guam. And when I say the community of Guam, this means both younger people, like in our schools, will really look forward to having this possibly as a physical education class, to interscholastic, as well as families, kids, seniors, and just having a good time. For more information, check them out at www.pickleballguam.org or on Facebook at Pickleball Guam Association and on Instagram at Pickleball underscore Guam underscore association. It's time to get some buckets. Serena Opindo out of GW had the hot hand for the Geckos. Opindo hit for a team high 19 points against Southern High. Serena scored seven in the third quarter to lead G-Dub to the win. Teammate Carzina Alafonso chipped in with 15 points, eight in the first half and seven in the second. Academy's Mia Titano went to work against Sanchez, putting up 15 points. Titano with the huge first quarter on fire with nine. Titano is tricky with the left hand outlet pass from Corey Paulino. Oriana Sevilla also lit up the scoreboard for 15 points. Sevilla's 15 came from the outside as she buried five shots from long range. Jerfik Anu was balling out getting buckets for the Sharks. Anu with the drive and finish for three the long way. Jerfik led all scores against Ukudu with 19 points. Anu with the kick out pass from Eugene Dakison. Corner three is money. Ralph McCaldo cashed in with 11. 
Anu and Mikado working the pick and roll. Jerfik dropping dimes. Manalo with the assist. Another bucket. Contact on the play for the basket and one. Don't forget to send us your best shots. DM our KUAM News on Instagram or hit me up at SHO at KUAM.com. Super Bowl 56 going down right here on the stations of KUAM. Monday, February 14th at 9 in the morning on TV8. Matthew Stafford and the L.A. Rams taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's hear from some of our fans who they think will win this year's big game. I'm actually red and gold, Niners all the way. But, you know, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can never go for the Rams. I think the Rams have a better overall team, but I think it's just the Bengals year. I'm a Steeler fan, so go Rams. Go Rams. Yep. Can't, I can't go for the Bengals. Why? Because they're in the same division. I'm going for the Bengals. Why? Because they have not been to the Super Bowl as many times as the Rams, and I like the underdogs. Bengals. Bengals, why? Because I like Tigers better. Now for the quarterbacks lining up under center, here's Burrow and Stafford on their big showdown. Getting ready for this week. I'm just trusting my preparation. You know, last week's a little bit different, obviously with no game. Um, but only one opponent to play rest of the year. So um, a little bit of a jump uh, jump start on that. But um, this week we just kind of take it like a normal week, go out there and, and prepare like we normally do, trust that that process is enough to go out there and win the game and, and play well on Sunday. You know, it was exciting to see all the fans and how excited they were for for us. You know, we play for for them at the end of the day. You know, we want to make the fans proud as, as well as ourselves. But so it's always fun when you see the fans as invested in this team as you are. KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G.